Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in DCS Mission Editor today and looking at adding a ship or an aircraft carrier with working TACAN and working ICLS for navigation. So straight to it, ship. I want the ship there. It's already got 11 knots selected, so let's just say it's going to go that way there. Um, so we've got the ship selected and it is a CVN uh, John C. Stennis type. Next we're going to go back to waypoint zero. And it's already got an activate TACAN advanced waypoint here, but as it stands, it won't be working. So the key thing is, the name up here we do not need to change, the unit name here we do need to change. So we're going to call it uh, HMS Get Some. Bosch there. And now we're going to go and edit the TACAN advanced waypoint. Double click on that. So nothing we need to fill out here. Channel mode, it can only be X ray. So TACAN, you get X ray and Yankee, but uh, we're going to only have TAC X ray here. The channel we need to select, I usually do 11 for my carrier ICLS. The call sign, this is the name of the uh, TACAN station. They're usually three letters long, so I'm going to call it CRR for carrier. I don't know, makes sense, I suppose. And the unit, this is the important one. Here you must select the unit name of your boat. If you don't do that, it won't work. Okay, so that's it with working TACAN. Next, we're going to add ICLS. So we're going to click on the boat, go back to waypoint zero, advanced waypoints here, add, and we're going to click perform command here. Down here, we're going to click, uh, click activate ICLS and much the same thing. It's already got the options here. Name of it, don't need it there. The channel, I usually have. 12 for my ICLS and the unit again you have to select HMS get some Bosh. that's it a fully working CV carrier with working TACAN and working ICLS uh, that's all I've got to say hope that helps see you later